Well, everything just lined up right here for me. Give me your tusks. Thank you. That's honestly all I needed. And we're good. But yeah, we're probably right at the end of available content. Maybe, yeah, two more locations left. And that's that's got to be in the next zone. So we're, we're just finishing this tonight. Which I'm totally fine with. So, Boar Tusk catch it. Boar Tusk dagger. Decent base damage. Way better slashy strength. I've got a beehive on my head. Well, whatever. Boss fight. Huh? Ah! The bask in the light of our Lord Protector. How diligent. How selfless. Once we finish fixing the light, start tackling that plumbing issue down in Elcyon Heights. Only I can comprehend the advanced technologies involved. Oh dear lord, it's a, it's Cyber Zombie! Shit, 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 how did you get here? I may have faltered in my efforts to block you, but I shall falter no more. As the only serpent still loyal to the Lord Protector, I must destroy you here and now. I must fight you myself, even if I am extinguished from this mortal coil. Stand back, let me take care of this. But my lord, you must be bo mustn't be bothered with trash like... Zimmer created it for the sole purpose of disrupting me. So I'm the one that needs to deal with it. Stay away from this area. I understand. So you're Simmer's strongest dependence. Let's see what you've got. Oh my god, bees! Looking that's rad looking. Unfortunately, shit this hurts. And my biggest problem is the fire beneath her. Well, we've done a whole buttload of damage to her. Okay, so I can avoid. I just gotta... Wait. Okay. Yeah, I think my main problem is just that fire is an issue. He's almost done ski, though. I mean, on the plus side, this is a wonderful time for me to mess around with. Did I get her? Got her. Thank you, poison. That got really bit. That got really messed up. Ah. How? You're this powerful. That could only mean Simmer's in grave danger. Dang it, B, as I needed you for that entire fight. Yeah, that was rough. Managed to chase Grill away. That's pretty amazing. You looked very distressed. You did well, new guy. Brought us enough time to bring almost everything back to the surface. Once the last Captain UI Blue Race arrived, we should be able to meet up with Simmer later. Moving specimens from the bio storage facility near the surface. We'll be able to find her up there. You accomplished something pretty major. I think you've cinched your Employee of the Month, month Award this time. Damn it, I spend all day every day doing this bullshit work. When do I get my award? Go ahead and... 
uh, go ahead of us and tell her we'll be there soon. Employee of the month. Nothing else to say. Back over here and go. Military detachment. Nothing over here. Okay. There's stuff going on back there. This city is interesting. I like the sci-fi elements that are kind of implied in the background. Sor Sorbet Biological Storage Facility. Oh, boy. We've got weird creepy clone horror mutant monsters. There are a couple of old photos on top of these boxes of junk. Simmer and her friend are happily showing off some dodgy looking food. Her friend doesn't look too happy. Scythe for interns, a gift from Simmer that summons up to four friendly skeletons. Here's your reward for being employee of the month, the scythe I used when I first started learning necromancy. You can use this scythe to summon your very own minions to do your work. This piques your, piques your interest in necromancy. It can teach you more once we leave this dungeon. I'm not very good at saying this kind of stuff face to face. It makes me feel kind of awkward. So let me put it into writing. I want you to know that without you, I would have never gotten this far. Thank you. You made me remember the happiness that comes from having my own work be validated. When I returned to this dungeon as a spirit, I spent every day fearing that my existence and work would just disappear in this darkness. But I feel the opposite now. I'm confident that as a super talented boss with, e with equally talented employees, I can do anything. Our achievements will dazzle those on the other side of that stargate. Alrighty, let's not get com complacent with all the compliments and gifts. We're moving specimens from here. Come and help us. Your very amazing boss, Simmer. I'm exhausted. They're moving. It's Emma and Tyler. Oh, of course, past experience. Probably making out in some dark corner. Congratulations on getting the Employer of the Month Award. Before you arrived, she used to rotate the award between us. This power gap, we are probably going to get all the future awards. See, cast iron steak. Which I don't care. No new weapons, but that's fine. Sturdy metal door looks like it was violently torn apart. A magical barrier covers the entire doorway. I'm trying to stop things from going in or coming out. You're here. I need your help. As you can see, this facility this is a facility for storing various plants and animals. All the creatures you see originated from here. Just now, when you were fighting that Lord Protector. Someone or something came through here and let out the worst thing. I need you to go into this area and just destroy those those things that took everything from us. Good luck and be careful. Another boss fight. Alright. How do I use that scythe? Is it something I equip? About the sorbet biostorage facility. Sorbet? Sor sorbet? It's probably supposed to be sorbet. Sherbert? Maybe it's Sherbert. Oh, it is a weapon. It's a research facility formed under the aegis of the United Federal Government. Our mission is to collect and preserve all living organisms vulnerable to extinction. After the conclusion of the sixth mass extinction, our mission will pivot to cloning and raising the organisms underground. Aim to create independent, functioning ecosystems and provide sustainable and stable natural resources for all citizens to enjoy. So our efforts at Sherbert, it probably is Sherbert. I don't know why there's two T's. Uh, Sherbert, we hope to build Mother Nature a new and improved home. Everything got goop bad. Oh, boy. I don't know what the hell that thing is, but uh, it's quite dead. Luckily, I am a damage machine. I've got some really good AoE, too. Oh, my God. What the hell? Rancid flesh smells bad.
Yeah, no kidding. Luckily, they don't actually have that much HP. So it's more of a effort in surviving long enough. Whoop. Long enough for my my poisons to more or less just take them out. I guess that's always been the trick, though. Most of the mosquitoes in a jar work pretty damn well. Holy crap. Helm HP is almost back up to normal. Whoop! Oh. Being weird flesh. Not giving any ingredients. Oh, they're giving the occasional ingredient. They're just not giving good ingredients. They're giving gross bits. These just look like mobile organ bits. Well, this is cool. I originally thought this was just going to be uh, some kind of goofy dungeon game. But this does the, like, dark genetic experiment horror that I really like in a lot of games. Specifically, recently, games that I can think of that kind of have this specific plot trope uh, would be, like, Moe Stray and, to some lesser degree, Iconoclasts. I really liked it in Iconoclasts. They just didn't, like, stick with it for very long. It was like, hey, here's some weird genet genetic horrors as a result of the, uh... Of the... I, shoot, whatever it is. The alien space fuel that we use for superpowers. Uh... And, like, human experiments and whatnot. And you're done. And it's like, what? No, go go more into this. Like, tell me about this, like, failed civilization in greater detail because I love this shit. I can read the same um, consequences of human cloning and genetic experiments. I can read the same story over and over and over again. I'll enjoy it. C4 cold storage area. Warning. Level 5 extreme biohazard. No physical contact with C04 is allowed. Staff must conduct checkups and maintenance of refrigeration systems every five hours. In the event of physical contact, all staff involved will be terminated on site by security and incinerated using high power fire magic. All other staff assigned to C04 will be placed in quarantine for 30 days for further observation. Description Metric tons of C04 were delivered to the facility on blah 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 under the auspices of blah blah blah. Used to reveal how they came into possession of C04. C04 has been theorized theorized to be a parasite, chemical agent, or even a blank, but tests have been unable to shed light on its chemical processes or internal metabolism. Organisms that come into contact with C04 slowly decay, turning into new instances of C04 with additional mutations such as blank blank or blank. C04 feeds exclusively on any and all kinds of eukaryotic biomass and has the potential to wipe out entire ecosystems to prevent a possible blank glass scenario. The containment and elimination of C04 is now the facility's highest tri highest priority. Chips up there? C04 records. Exhibit A. A mean fish and C0 effects after 5 minutes of exposure. Effects after 10 minutes of exposure. Effects after 15 minutes of exposure. Well, this is pretty SCP. I like this. So the question is, do we find, like, weird horror zombie simmer or something at the end of this? My blog, 11.3. Hey, it's me. I'm a researcher here. Everyone calls me Rob. I'm 33, single, and ready to mingle. It's been weeks since the internet went down, and I haven't shitposted in forever. I've decided to make this my blog, so if I die here, someone will be able to hear me bitch about my life. I operate the massive bioprinters that print animals for the cloning department. Conditions here were much better than at the Stargate project. They had to come in during weekends and worked overtime every single day. We just do our 9 to 5 and also got to play with newly cloned kitties and puppies while working. It was sweet. One day a bunch of military trucks drove in and let us left us with those barrels of C04. That was when everything went to shit. Apparently, 
It was wreaking havoc in the big cities, and we were told to find a way to kill it. I think the C04 day was also the day the internet died. F. 11-4. Bored, scared, and a couple of other things. I miss my bed at home. Ted from maintenance was talking about how the city was in trouble and the government couldn't contain it. He disappeared the next day. The tension in the air is now three million times worse than normal. One million is from there being no internet, and the other two million comes from the barrels of C-04 that we've got here. I get to see all sorts of animals in my line of work, from sharks and pythons to wyverns and windigo wendigos. Handling animals is my thing. C-04 is not cute at all. It's slimy, it's this slimy, rotten, meat-looking, disgusting, twisted mess. Any creature that touches that slimy mess is either absorbed or turns into its own pile of rotten meat. What's worse is, once it accumulates enough mass, it splits into two. Now we've got two piles of rotten C04 meat to deal with. We tried to kill it using countless chemicals, herbs, and spells, but other than physical destruction, there's nothing we can do to counter its growth. If this was unleashed in a big city, it would spread so, so quickly. I don't even want to think about that. I'm done for today. Rob out. Log 1120. There's nobody upstairs. The entire Stargate department's gone. We're the only people left. It's Sherbert. What? Annoying, annoying government agents that keep pestering us for reports are also gone. Yeah, I guess? We've decided to stop all research on C-04 and ditch work. Tomorrow we're heading down to the Asan area to check out what happened. We're not the last people around. Good work. Only undead creatures like you and I can fight these things without getting infected. Shit. Why did something like this have to happen now? If I had found out any later... Nope. Nope. Now is not the time to be depressed. Thanks to you, we're almost at the surface research facility where our Stargate's located. These, those monsters are, the only, are one of the reasons why this wretched place will eventually destroy itself. Once we leave, we won't have to worry about any of this. Let the other skeletons handle the rest of the monsters. All that's left is for us to get that Stargate activated. You've outgrown this dungeon, so let's leave this place together and give your life a future. Hi. Skeletons glow with the eerie blue light. They don't look very talkative. Oh, C-04 came from the Stargate. I can see that. Great emptiness. So, yeah, they probably opened the Stargate up, and boy howdy, there was not good stuff in there. Broken display. The text uses an annoying font. A new world awaits you with warm with a warm, welcoming sun. The United Federal Government invites you to, the, to open the gates of humanity's future. And it's super dark outside. Super dark outside, and it's snowing constantly. Hello, hello. Hello. Wow. There sure are a lot of visitors today. It's been so, so, so long since anyone visited me. The people now look very different. The last group of visitors showed up in just their bones. How curious. You here for a tour? Allow me to show you this, tell you the story of this facility. A long time ago, the sun left. Yep. So the surface of the earth became very, very cold. Nobody would be able to survive it. What was there to be done? That's when a group of very intelligent scientists and ma mages appeared. They put aside their differences to create this underground city. Another group of brave adventurers formed a space exploration team and flew off to find a new planet to live on. When they found a new habitable planet to colonize, they'll quickly assemble the gates to humanity's future, the Stargate. The other Stargate is being built right here in this facility. Once both gates are activated, residents of the underground city will be able to head into their new world and see the warm new sun. Each man hour put the Stargate or put into the Stargate brings us closer to our bright new future. And as for little old me, I'm the janitor. My job is to keep the floors clean. Fun fact, the snow outside is actually oxygen and nitrogen snow. I'll repeat everything again once I run out of voice lines. Hello. Okay. Some astronomical research logs are on the screen. 
on blank 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 the sun moved away from the elliptic plane at a rate of blank and its angle of blank this is far beyond the normal sun this movement continues the entire solar system will integrate as the gravitational influence of the sun wanes a strong radio transmission was also detected from the sun as the abnormal movement was observed contents have been ampli amplified and decrypted hello people of earth earth over the last billion years i've watched you evolve and grow i can't tell you how glad i am to be a part of that out of all the life forms I've had the pleasure to encounter, you humans have been the most delightful with your intelligence, creativity, and determination. Thus, I have an important announcement to make to you. I've decided to leave this solar system. While I enjoy the feeling of having my own planet spin around me, I think it's time to leave my comfort zone and seek new experiences. As a star, why do I have self-awareness? Self why aren't my plan planets self-aware? Will there be others like me? I hope my journey will help me answer these questions. I understand that... When I leave, all life on Earth will die, but as they say, all the world's a stage. And because of personal reasons, I've just decided to close down the entire theater. I've never proactively contacted any life forms before, so I'm doing this because I really like you all. I just wanted you to know, don't worry, it's not you, it's me, you did nothing wrong. I'll start moving starting today, and soon, I will just look like another star in the sky. Have fun, and don't be afraid to enjoy the remainder of your lives. Don't send spaceships, and don't try to contact me. I will burn them. Love, Sun. Wow. Turns out the Sun is an asshole. Sure, why not? Photo dropped from an overstuffed cardboard box. So that's everybody. Tyler... I'm terrible at remembering their names. Tyler, Emma, it's really the skeleton with the shrooms on his head that I've forgotten. That is really amusing that the sun's just like peace. Just... Left. So that's the star game. Looks like the, just like the post. Big black butthole. Yes, this will take us to the new planet where everyone else is. They found a planet similar to Earth and successfully colonized it. Then they built a Stargate to bring the rest of the humans across. Uh, across. Sorry, I always had a T to that for some reason. Out there, warm sunlight, normal vegetables, and all sorts of new games will be waiting for us. If they've been... If they've also been perfecting necromancy, we might even have a chance to get our bodies back. they are saying we could go back to stuffing our faces and playing video games all day. Miss your cooking, Simmer. Even if... Even if most of it was borderline diabetic. Worry not, we also have this apprentice who may, might have even exceeded my skills. That's in the way distant future, though. But we must also strike while the iron's hot. Pack your bags and activate. Huh? Nothing happened, boss. You sure it still works after all these years? Can't be broken. Everything else works down here. I want to check out the back of the machine. I'm an engineer, but I don't think the wires here are supposed to be cut like this. What? Who cut the wires? Was it Grill? If it was, why would she do this to me? What do we do now? I know there's another Stargate. This one's just the prototype. The way down to the lowest levels of the dungeon. Like, we'll need your help again, my apprentice. I need you to stop that lunatic from destroying another Stargate. That one doesn't work, and we're stuck here forever. Boss. What? I understand why Grill wanted to stop you from activating this. Where are the Stargate reports? You both know, right? Yeah? That's something Grill can't accept. That's the main reason why we went our own ways. Grill wants to stay here and play Dungeon Master, but this place is utterly doomed, and she can't get the two gears in her head to process that. Nature as we knew it doesn't exist anymore. The walking, talking fruits and vegetables tear the entire dungeon apart to ensure their own survival. And now those abominations have escaped. Look at me, I'm essentially immortal. I can summon a skeleton army and bring back the dead to do my bidding. But when I look at this empty wasteland, I just feel so powerless. There's absolutely nothing here for us. This world is far too broken to be fixed. Instead of wasting my time pissing in the ocean, I want to focus on what matters to me. I want to hold on to all the people I like. People that, I care, that care about me. People that I shared good times with. I want us all to have a future. So we can share more good times together. I'm ready to use any means available to protect what's important to me. Uh, the boss is getting kind of emotional. I'm not too good with this kind of thing. This is usually the part where I fast forward and 
when I watched anime. I haven't seen the reports they were talking about, but I'm also bummed out about this whole thing. So if you can patch things up with Grill so we can get out of here. Even if it's just a slim chance, I still feel pretty stoked about being human again. So no matter what reason Grill has to oppose you, I'm on your side, boss. I also want to be able to eat your fried scorpion tail cutlets again. Really? You'll follow me no matter what? Haha, <laughs> you've activated my trap card. You'll be happy helping me open a chain restaurant business on the other side of the Stargate. Simmer's Fantastic Magical Kitchen Franchise Chain Restaurant Eatery Adventure. I want to put more thought into that name. We came here for our graduation trip. The government wanted to be transparent, proactive, and spreading a positive message. After hearing that report about the sun, all I got was an existential crisis. The thing that dulls the horror is crack open a cold one on the weekends. Pair that with good food, good friends, and cute anime, and it's almost pretend that everything's alright. I hate being forced to watch that cute shit. Every time it happened, I made a point to declare, I'm not a little girl, so I'm not interested in little girl cartoons. I remember Grill would get all defensive about the proper use of the terms cartoon and anime until we forgot about what we were even trying to do. Worked every time. I'd put put in the game I wanted to play and no one would notice. I miss Grill. I hope you can make up with her again, but I'm worried about her reaction to opening the Stargate. I miss her too, but she hates my guts right now. I have to get us out of here. I'm not waiting here and dying quietly. They already dead. You know what I mean. We should go look for her together. I know you've bickered with her before. It might be better if we all go. Let's wait until we get some news from our new apprentice. I'm guessing Grill is still seething from her defeat. I want to send you into her inferno. Boss, what? I understand why Grill wanted to stop you from activating this. Oh. I see, I still want to read the Stargate reports, because we haven't seen those yet. Also, they brought the Skeleton Man. Maybe this is it. Stargate Alpha Test 20 report. We were once again able to get visual contact with the exploratory team through the Stargate for five seconds before the connection was severed. The immense amount of power required to power the Stargate and the vibrations it generates makes it difficult to extend the test beyond a five second window. If it had to operate for longer than five seconds, it would cause a tear in space and create immense destruction for the entire underground area. All testing on the Stargate must be suspended in order to prevent further damage to the facility and power the grid. Ah. So effectively, operating this is going to kill everything, and so Grill didn't want to sacrifice the plants. That makes sense. And that's it. So, are we, this is still an early access, right? I hope it is. Because I got a little scared when I saw the credits and I'm like, it'd be pretty bad if it just ended right here. But yeah, to be continued. That's a good sign. But yeah, this is a great game. I love the variety in builds. I wish... I wish there was some more, like, branching choices. Oh. Uh, why is everything on fire? The elevator does not look happy. Uh, but just to finish my thought about, like, weapons and stuff. I wish, like, poison daggers were just, like, one thing and you kept upgrading them in different branching manners, like you could slot stuff into different weapon types to get different effects. Because that would be cool. Anyway, what the ever-loving shit, uh... Damn! Ah, uh, anyone? You! Come closer. Please listen carefully to what I have to say. If the Stargate is activated, everything here will be destroyed. Those things have been released. Simra will disappear. I, I'm begging you. Was she dead? I thought she was a spirit. She had like a dragony body thing. Game over. That's all we have for this version. Thanks for playing.
Not bad, all things considered. Yeah, she was goopy looking. I, I hope this does kind of have a fun, happy ending, even if it gets real creepy along the way. Anywho, I really enjoyed this game. This is a fun little quick look. Uh, quick look, quick series, and I will be very happy to come back to this when it hits 1.0. I don't think I'm going to come back for intermediate patches just because, like, I hate that. That always feels really uncomfortable. So what I'm probably going to do is uh, just come back to this when it when it's fully done. All the stories there, and I'll probably bring Shell along so she can actually voice act. Because I think she would enjoy this game. The combat's pretty quick and it's pretty fun. And honestly, there's enough female voices that I think she would enjoy it. And so we'll probably start over fully when that comes out. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.